the central challenge organizations face is you either have a problem or perhaps you're looking for a new opportunity, a new need that you might be able to address. And I want to introduce this central concept, which is the idea of an innovation tournament. It has uh, this structure, which is a large number of raw opportunities are identified or created, and then a series of development steps and filters are applied until only the exceptional few remain. And that fundamental structure is a tournament structure. And we know that term from athletics, but if you think about the entity as any opportunity, whether it's an athlete or an athletic team, or a new product opportunity, it follows the same structure. Tournaments are pretty much intrinsic to much of what organizations do, from hiring a sales executive to picking a name for a product. You have tournaments everywhere. So the question isn't whether to use tournaments or not. The question is how to improve the performance. Make small investments to reveal enough information that you can make cuts that allow you to make bigger investments but in higher probability opportunities. The Gates Foundation has used the tournament methodology as an innovative way of identifying their philanthropic investments. They look for proposals, uh, two-page proposal, one idea, and they'll make a $100,000 investment in that idea. And they were able to do that for 3,000 ideas. In the second round, they look at seed round funding of $1 million based on results. And that they then made on eight projects. So instead of the normal process by which you look at those 3,000 proposals, you award grants to eight people for more than a million dollars. Instead, you say, let's see what these 3,000 people will do in the first phase. That gives us tremendously better information about which of these opportunities are worth investing in. Don't be discouraged by all the low quality stuff that comes in in an open tournament. That's part of the deal. You get the low quality stuff. You need an efficient way to ignore it. Uh, on, the, on the chance that something really remarkable comes in 